shifting focus to that trouble for JMM's Hemant Soren. We given to understand that the ED teams have reached uh, Shanti Niketan, the residence where Mr. Hemant Soren is staying. And Bhaptosh is getting us more details. Bhaptosh, can you tell us about this visit of the ED officials? Well, the ED teams uh, are presently at the private residence of uh, Hemant Soren in South Delhi. Uh, remember, there were uh, several summons that were issued to Hemant Soren for past six months, after which he was questioned at his residence uh, in January, after which again summons were issued. This time around when summons were issued, he was specifically told to appear at uh, ED office uh, in Rachi. Uh, after that, uh, Hemant Suryan, in fact, told them that uh, he w would be busy till March, and ED then dashed off another letter to, uh, telling him that uh, on either he should appear on 29th of January or 31st of January. Now, today is uh, 29th of January, and uh, he is presently in Delhi. Now, ED teams, what we have learned uh, from sources, are at his residence in South Delhi. Now, we exactly don't know whether they are there to serve him uh, summons or to just speak to him. But uh, what we can confirm to our viewers is that uh, there are teams of ED officials who are presently at a place where uh, Hemant Surain is. Uh, there were reports earlier that he is at Jharkhand Bhavan, but he is not there. But uh, he is presently at a at a place in South Delhi, and ED officials are there. No official word from the agency. But remember, this uh, there has been a constant bitter war of words between right. the federal Bhaktosh, government. Bhaktosh, stay and on with us. We have Mr. Tanush Khatri of the JMM joining us on the broadcast. Mr. Khatri, we're given to understand that the ED officials have now reached Shanti Niketan in the national capital, where Mr. Hemant Soren currently is. Uh, can you uh, share details that uh, uh, are reaching you? देखिए जिस प्रकार से वैसे लोकप्रिय नेता और झारखंड की हम बात कर रहे हैं तो एक आदिवासी मुख्यमंत्री को लगातार जिस प्रकार से केंद्रीय एजेंसियों के माध्यम से परेशान किया जा रहा है वो अब किसी से छुपा नहीं है अब झारखंड में भी वही परेशान किया जा रहा था अब तो जहां जहां जाएंगे वहां वहां परेशान किया जाएगा तो क्या आखिर भारतीय जनता पार्टी क्या मैसेज देना चाह रही है पूरे तमाम देश के आदिवासियों को और चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्री को जिस प्रकार से परेशान किया जा रहा है झारखंड की जनता देख रही है और इसका जवाब आने वाले चुनावों में देगी जी लेकिन ये भी कहा जा रहा है कि अब तक सवालों का जवाब देने से बचते आए हेमंत सोरेन ईडी तो अपनी कार्रवाई कर रही है इन्वेस्टिगेशन पूरी हो जाने पर पता चल जाएगा नहीं नहीं सवालों का जवाब देने से कैसे बचते हैं पिछले दिनों नौ घंटों तक पूछताछ हुई उसके पहले आठ घंटों तक पूछताछ हुई तो कौन सा ऐसा सवाल रह जाता है जो वो पूछ नहीं पाते हैं जब एक बार एक बार एग्जामिनेशन हो गया तो उसमें सवाल रह गए आपके तो तो जांच एजेंसी जांच एजेंसी अपना काम कर रही है आपको क्या इसमें पॉलिटिकल वेंडेटा नजर आ रहा है कि क्या ये कोई रंजिश के चलते हो रहा है नहीं नजर नहीं आ रहा है ये पूरी तरीके से वेंडेटा है पूर्ण रूप से साजिश है कि कैसे वैसे नेताओं को तोड़ा जाए वैसे नेताओं के मनोबल को तोड़ा जाए जी ऑल राइट तनुष खत्री जी चुनाव के मद्देनजर हो रहा है चलिए आप कह रहे हैं चुनाव के मद्देनजर शुक्रिया आपका हमसे बात करने के लिए लेकिन गो बैक टू भक्तोश इन फैक्ट भक्तोश आर दी ऑफिशियल देर टू क्वेश्चन हेमंत सोरेन इज दी यू नो क्वेश्चनिंग गोइंग टू टेक प्लेस वॉट इज गोइंग ट्रांसफर Well, no, uh, no clarity as to why the officials are there. But what we have gathered from sources is that last time when uh, there was a letter that was written to Hemant Surain, it was specifically mentioned to him that uh, if he does not appear, then ED officials will go and meet him. Uh, remember, when he was questioned at his residence. Uh, around 15 odd questions were asked to him uh, of the 27 that were given to him. After which uh, the questioning got over, but uh, there was in fact a lot of uh, acrimony that happened in which uh, the state and Administration, in fact, went ahead and filed an FIR against the CRPF pers uh, personnel who was stationed outside his residence. There are also mm. this uh, constant friction between ED officials and the state administration, mm. where letters have been dashed off against each other. Uh, amidst this, uh, there is this uh, there is an ongoing probe in the land scam where ED suspect that somewhere in that land scam, Hemant Thure is linked to uh, to uh, at least the proceeds of crime is linked to the family members of Hemant Thure. So Hemant Thure. All right. Denied this, he has brought the uh, the fact that he is right. a, a, a tribal leader. That's why. Ba uh, Bhaktosh, Bhaktosh, stay on with us. We are also joined by uh, BJP leader Pratul Shahdev. Uh, Pratul Shahdev, we just spoke to uh, JMM leader Tanuj, and he says this is nothing but political vendetta. Manobal tordne ki koshish hai. He man sorin ki. How do you respond to that? So this is just a corruption case. <laughs> 
come out to the tune of staggering 70,000 crore rupees scam have been hauled against the chief minister during his last four years of tenure. And we, we have been telling him the way he has been evading the ED summons. For eight summons, he did not appear. And on eight summons, when ED said, if you are not coming, we are coming for you, then he had to relent. And the questioning was done at his residence. And again, when the ED sent him a ninth summons, he said, I'm not going, I'm not free till 30th March. We believe this is purely a criminal investigation relating to sell-off of an army land to private individuals in the heart of Ranchi. And uh, like they say, the, it, uh, it goes right up to the Kase House, the official residence of the Honorable Chief Minister. Why is the Chief Minister running away? Our big question is, okay. if he has nothing to hide, face in court, our Prime Minister, when he was a Chief Minister, Gujarat faced SIT for 10 hours. He said, no political issues about that, but why is he making political issues out of it? Mm. Now, the, you know, the, the timing of, the, timing of uh, uh, the sequence of events is being questioned by the, not just the JMM, but the entire opposition, saying that those in the opposition are being targeted, the agencies and the officials only knock on the doors of the leaders of the opposition. No, we did not uh, plan 20 crore rupees in the house of the CEO of the mining secretary of the chief minister when it was recovered. We did not plan 9 crore rupees in the house of the representative of the uh, chief minister's official MLA constituency. It was recovered by the ED. So ED has been doing service and he has currently saying that the opposition leaders have been targeted. Nine and a half years, man, the figure speaks for itself. A staggering 1,25,000 crore rupees plus illegal cash and assets have been recovered in the in ED rates. So if they have got any conflict proof against any legal, move the High Court, move the Supreme Court, you know, move the ED agency. But why are you giving political color to an ongoing criminal investigation? I say that's because CM knows that he is net deep in the corruption. Right. Hmm. Right. Uh, Mr. Deo, thank you very much for uh, joining us, for answering those questions. So the JMM says this is political vendetta. The Bharti Janata Party says this is nothing but a case of corruption that is being investigated by the Enforcement Directorate. With that, we'll give a very short break. News and updates will continue. Stay on with us.